Welcome to BackerBuddy and the world of crowdfunding. If you are watching this video, you are most likely part of a non-profit or community-based organization that is looking to raise funds for your cause. As with all methods of fundraising, fundraising through crowdfunding also requires a lot of thought and effort in order to succeed. There are a few key elements within your organization that need to be in place before you start your crowdfunding campaign. Step number one, finding your crowd. Does your organization have a website? What does your social media tools look like? Do you have a Facebook account, a Twitter account, a database? Do you use Salesforce? Are you keeping track, perhaps just in an Excel spreadsheet, of all your donors, all your volunteers, anybody that has ever expressed an interest in the work that you do as an organization? It is of imperative importance that you keep track of this information. There is nothing more powerful in a crowdfunding campaign than having access to a crowd. Step number two, who will be running your crowdfunding campaign? You can set up a crowdfunding campaign for a specific need within your organization. For example, the NPO Shark Spotters set up a Backer Buddy campaign in order to raise funds for their new app. If you choose to crowdfund in this manner, it is your responsibility as the organization to market your campaign and find donors for your campaign within your organization's networks. Alternatively, you can use what we call at Backer Buddy champion crowdfunding. This is asking your crowd of supporters, your volunteers and donors, if they would do the fundraising for you. For example, the Smile Foundation challenged their crowd of supporters to participate in the Cape Town Cycle Tour and the 947 Cycling Race in order to raise funds for their organization. Another nonprofit organization called Home of Hope asks their supporters and volunteers to dedicate their birthdays to raising funds for their organization. Ultimately, you can sit with your team and brainstorm various opportunities that you can extend to your network. You can ask individuals to run marathons, cycle cycle tours, climb mountains, pledge their birthdays, set up a Mandela Day campaign. You can be as creative as you want when it comes to crowdfunding. The beautiful thing about champion crowdfunding is that you as a non-profit organization no longer have to tap your own networks, but the people who believe in what you do and who want to champion your organization can tap their networks and grow your database. Step number three, realistic goals. Many of you have heard of amazing crowdfunding campaigns that have raised millions and millions. It's important to understand that not all crowdfunding campaigns succeed. When you set up your campaign and it's the first time that you're attempting crowdfunding, set a realistic objective and target. Try and learn how it works and get the swing of it before you set those very high ambitious targets. Step number four, a dedicated resource. Running a crowdfunding campaign is definitely not an easy thing. It requires a lot of time and effort. A dedicated resource within your organization needs to be responsible for the crowdfunding element of your fundraising strategy. This person will be responsible for setting up the campaigns, encouraging the champions, motivating them, feeding back stories of impact to the donors in terms of the impact that their funds have had. Please make sure before you launch a crowdfunding campaign that you have a dedicated resource within your organization that we can walk alongside in this journey. In conclusion, make sure that your organization first has all the basics in place. And once that has been achieved, you are ready to set up your first crowdfunding campaign on BackerBuddy.